The U.S. has marked a year since Russia invaded Ukraine by announcing a new range of sanctions against Russia and new military aid for Ukraine. The latest restrictions target more than 100 entities both within Russia and worldwide, including banks and suppliers of defense equipment. Specifically, the U.S. said it wants to stop those helping Russia exploit loopholes to get sanctioned materials. The White House's fresh round of aid for Ukraine is worth $2 billion, a £1.7 billion, a further $550 million, a £459 million, will be supplied to both Ukraine and neighboring Moldova to strengthen their energy infrastructure. One year on, the commitment of the United States, together with some 50 countries who have rallied to rush urgently needed assistance to Ukraine, has only strengthened, the Department of Defense said. In a press release, the White House said the new measures were designed to disrupt Russian financial institutions, officials and authorities from illegitimately operating in Ukraine. It comes days after U.S. President Joe Biden flew into Kyiv for a surprise visit and held talks with his Ukrainian counterpart, Volodymyr Zelensky. In its latest round of aid, the U.S. government is providing Ukraine with new drone systems, high-mobility rocket systems, ammunition for artillery systems and communications gear. Earlier this week the U.S. said China was considering supplying lethal weapons to Russia. They also claimed Chinese firms had already been supplying non-lethal dual-use technology, items which could have both civilian and military uses, such as drones and semiconductors. China has strongly denied the allegations. A meeting of G7 leaders was held on Friday, where they created an enforcement team designed to stop Russia from finding sanctions loopholes. G7 countries will continue to keep Russia's sovereign assets immobilized until there is a resolution to the conflict, the group said in a press release. The G7 Group of Seven is an organization of the world's seven largest advanced economies. They are Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the United States. It has so far committed $39 billion, a £32 billion, to Ukraine's war efforts for 2023. The U.S. said G7 countries and allies would also impose sanctions on key economic sectors in Russia, including its metals and mining sector. Our actions today with our G7 partners show that we will stand with Ukraine for as long as it takes, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said.